Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow, and I want to welcome you to True Texas History. And today I'm going to be talking about when Doc Holliday met Wyatt Earp in Texas. You know, it always amazes me how with uh, the stories of uh, Wild West gunfighters and uh, the bad guys, the good guys, um, there's a lot of intermingling. There were some good guys that were bad and some bad guys that were good. Uh, yeah, um, you know, like Baz Outlaw, who was a ranger with a drinking problem. And, um, you know, there were, were a lot of episodes uh, that lead to, well, I realized that the real people are very different than you see in the movies. Because, you know, in the movies, the good guys wear the white hats, the bad guys wear the black hats, and it's real easy to tell in real life. Uh, sometimes things became a little bit, well, a lot of bit gray. Um, yeah, and, and many of those outlaws uh, and lawmen that you hear about uh, at least spent a little bit of time in Texas, and there was uh, some Texas activity with them. Uh, now, in the case of Doc Holliday, he was originally from Georgia, and, you know, he... Um, his mother died when he was uh, very young. She died of tuberculosis. And uh, then he apparently developed a disease after uh, being a dentist over in Atlanta. And uh, was well, he told people he was sent out west. Now, according to another source, and that other source being Bat Masterson, Bat Masterson said it was due to a shooting incident back there in Georgia. I don't know. There, there was an episode where uh, Doc Holliday, uh, his favorite swimming hole, there were some people swimming in it, and uh, he got uh, angry at them swimming in a swimming hole, and so he fired a few shots over their head. Um, who knows? I mean, maybe that was something. But, you know, he originally uh, settled in Dallas, you know, got into a dental practice, uh, set up shop. Um until there were some uh, disagreements and he ended up shooting somebody and he had to leave. Uh, went on to uh, another location in Texas. Let's see, what was that one? Um, Jacksboro, Jacksboro, Texas. It was kind of a mining town. And he was escaping law, you know, I mean, being that there was no Facebook or anything like that and they didn't follow him around. In Jacksboro, there was another disagreement. Uh, he ended up killing uh, one of the soldiers that was stationed there at Fort Richardson, and that led to the Texas Rangers, U.S. Marshals, and uh, some other folks uh, forming a posse and chasing him down. And he, um, you know, went into uh, what they called the, the uh, Apache part of the Kansas Territory, which Nowadays we call it Colorado, but he took off to Colorado and uh, went through uh, various other states uh, before meandering back to Texas. Um, and uh, when he got to Texas, <coughs> see where was that? Um, Fort Griffin. Uh, and in Fort Griffin, he uh, liked to play poker. Uh, Doc Holliday was uh, an unusual man. He was highly educated, very fluent in Latin, um, and he always dressed impeccably, um, carried himself well. You know, he was just uh, kind of weak and sickly. And um, so once he was uh, there in Texas, you know, he made his uh, living not from dentistry, but from uh, gambling. And there at uh, the local gambling hall, he met uh, the prostitute known as Big Nose Kate. Uh, Big Nose Kate, uh, although the name sounds atrocious, she's, uh, people reported that she was actually very attractive. Uh, I don't know. Uh, she was uh, definitely had an independent spirit, said she didn't belong to any man in it or any house. Um, but she worked there at, uh, I believe it was called Shaughnessy's. Uh, and her real name was Mary Catherine Elder Haroni. Uh, but Shaughnessy's Saloon uh, is where the two met. 
And um, while there at Shawnee's saloon, uh, Wyatt Earp came in. Wyatt Earp was uh, chasing down an outlaw, and um, he was a little hesitant about uh, approaching Doc Holliday because uh, the reputation was Doc Holliday hated lawmen, and he had good reason to uh, dislike him. You know, you, you don't see this aspect coming out uh, in the movies, but. Uh, the outlaw that uh, Wyatt Earp was after, you know, he went ahead and approached uh, Doc Holliday about it. Doc Holliday was willing to talk to him, told him he headed back to Kansas. So uh, at that point, uh, Wyatt Earp went ahead and sent a telegram to uh, the sheriff of Dodge City, Kansas, who happened to be Bat Masterson. Um, see, I told you all, people <laughs> kind of intermingled. Um, but apparently along the way, Wyatt Earp and uh, Doc Holliday struck up some conversations and uh, got along with each other. Um, and then eventually Wyatt Earp went on about his business chasing down the outlaws, because he, he really was a lawman. And uh, Doc Holliday uh, continued gambling, and then one day uh, this bully came in and... Um, the guy had uh, was making a point of uh, looking at the discarded cards on the table, which uh, you in poker you just don't do. You know, you had rules to follow, and uh, even in the Wild West, there were rules. And Doc Holliday expected him to go by the rules. They got into a fight. Uh, Holliday pulled out a knife, sliced the guy's gut open. Uh, uh, and apparently the bully had some friends in town and they wanted to uh, punish Holiday. Now, the uh, law enforcement, since there was no jail in the town, they went ahead and locked him up in a hotel room. Uh, although the uh, local officials considered Holiday innocent because it was uh, he killed the guy in self-defense, uh, not all the locals agreed. And uh, they formed a vigilante committee, and uh, they were about ready to go hang him. And then Big Nose Kate went ahead and burned down a shed outside of town. Uh, and uh, the fire ended up starting to spread into the town. All the townspeople got alarmed about the fire, forgot about Doc Holliday, went to go uh, put out the fire. And Big Nose Kate went ahead and freed Doc Holliday from uh, the hotel room, gave him a couple of six shooters, and he took off. And um, after that, you know, he eventually hooked up with his old friend over there uh, in Tombstone, Arizona. But uh, I wanted to go ahead and cover the part of the Doc Holliday story that took place in Texas. I consider it fascinating and intriguing. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and if there's uh, people you want me to talk about, or little episodes to cover, uh, incidents, uh, leave your comments below. I'll be glad to get to them. So until next time, via con Dios, my friends. Goodbye.